What's up everybody, Brian Tong here, and in case you didn't know, Apple just announced a new application. It's called Invites, and the best way that I would describe this is, think of this as, you know, you're normally used to things like Evites and invitations. This is similar to that, but it has Apple's polish, its integration with its entire ecosystem, and it can be shared with people outside of the ecosystem. So we're gonna show you how this all comes together. First thing to know that in order to create an Apple invite, you do need to have a phone that's compatible with iOS 18, and you have to have an iCloud Plus subscription. That is Apple Storage, or even an Apple One subscription that includes iCloud Plus. If you have those two things or those three things, then you'll be able to use the Apple Invites app. So as someone who's gonna make an invite for you all, let's go here and the icon looks like this, like a little yellow envelope with some confetti on it. I'm just gonna click on it right now. And you have here some currently existing invites that I've made, okay? But I'm gonna show you how this whole process goes. We're gonna start up here in the plus sign. I'm just gonna tap on it. And from here, this is where you start creating an Apple invite. You can add a background. I'm gonna do something here where we're gonna start and let's think of, I'm gonna do a beach party, okay? But you have, you can access photos you already have, your camera, but playground. The reason why iOS 18 is required for this is because it has hooks to image playground. So I'm gonna click on playground here and we're gonna let it load up. And again, you're gonna throw out terms and words that you want. So I'm gonna enter in the word beach and I'm gonna say done here. It's gonna add that to the mix. I'm gonna add in another word and say party and hit done there. And so it's gonna factor in using image playground images based on the different terms that you use. And it's gonna start creating ones like this, like this, and it continues to generate them. I'm gonna go with this third one. You got some drinks, you got some food, you got some little, uh, little banners and flags there. So let's go with this one. I'm gonna hit done, okay? And so now it actually created this background for my invite. I'm gonna call it, hmm, BTZ's, you know, because that's my nickname, BTZ's Beach Booty Bash. And you all better come to this thing, okay? So here we go. And there's the title. I'm gonna choose a date and time. Let's just really make this quick. I'm gonna make this an all day affair. Sure, February 8th looks good to me, hit done. You're gonna see the date right there. And then let's do location. I'm gonna pop in here, it's gonna be at a beach. So I love how quiet and how chill Redondo Beach is. So we're gonna go there. I'm gonna hit done here now. And what's fun about this is when you choose your location, it already is gonna factor in and include the weather report so people know what to prepare for, for that party. Um, it's gonna be hosted by yours truly, and I'm gonna just gonna put in a little description. What's, I, could, I guess I could have used um, voice recognition, but you know, I'm kinda used to this. What's my favorite word? Beach! You know that song? <laughs> okay, so there we go, done. There's the description. And then what also is here, more integration hooks with the Apple ecosystem. A lot of times you go to a party, you wanna create a shared album, you wanna get the photos from everyone, but it's hard to coordinate that. With this invite, I can create a shared album using storage on my iCloud Plus, and I'm just gonna hit done. And this, what this allows is attendees to upload their photos after the party's done. And that's a really cool feature to kind of involve the community. Also, share the playlist. I'm gonna add a music playlist. If I want to, it's gonna ask me to allow access to that. But if I have a specific type of playlist, hmm, the beach, look at you, I'm exposing myself with all these different playlists. Let's, <laughs> let's, do, let's do a Bone Thugs music playlist. You can add collaborators to add the playlist as well. I'm just gonna add the playlist only for now, okay? But that incorporates all these things, all right? I'm gonna hit preview now. And from here, this is what the invite looks like for someone, all right? They'll respond going, not going, maybe. I'm gonna invite a couple of people. Remember we talked about this is an invite that can involve people that um, are not part of the Apple ecosystem as well. So I have the option to share it in different ways. I can choose to manually approve guests, but I'm gonna invite individual guests. So let's uh, invite someone here. I'm gonna actually invite my good buddy, JK, John Kim. And so he will get an invite on his phone. I'm just gonna hit messages here because that's pretty direct, all right? and. Well, we're gonna blur out his phone numbers. <laughs> Let's go here. Okay, and I'm gonna send away. 
So he's gonna, showed me that invitation was sent. He's going to receive a text message, and we're going to see what that looks like. One other thing that I want to do could share a link or a message. Let's send an email. So I'm going to send this to my Pixel phone, okay? And we're going to hit return here. We'll just add this right there. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to send away. So we're going to show you now what this invite looks like on the other end for someone who receives it. Okay, so this is John's phone right here, and I'm going to hit messages because it should show that he received an invite from me. This is what it's going to look like from what, uh, iPhone user to iPhone user. Again, he doesn't need to be on iOS 18 or have an iCloud Plus subscription. He just needs to be able to receive it, which he did. So I'm going to click on this invite now that he received. All right, it's going to take you here. He see This is what his screen sees. View invitation. And the invitation shows up here. He can look at all the details, right? The description, the weather, the location, the shared album is accessible there. The Bone Thugs playlist is accessible there. And from that point on, uh, he better be going. I'm going to say going. All right. Sends reply. You can actually put a little comment or message in there. Yes. That's his voice. Send reply. And there you go. He has RSVP'd to this event. So that's how you respond to it on an iPhone, but I wanted to bring this in the mix. Is this sacrilegious? No, because we have plenty of friends that are on all different kinds of platforms. This is the Pixel 9 Pro. I love this phone as well. And I'm gonna go into it and answer and respond to the email that I just sent so we can see what this experience is like. I've actually never done this, so I'm just gonna walk through it with you. But here we go, BTZ's Beach Booty Bash. I'm gonna hit it. And what it does here is it has a web link that I can go to, so I'm gonna click on that. And it shows it as iCloud invites, BTZ's Beach Booty Bash. There's the invite that I made. And if I can scroll here, and that's gonna ask me to enter in my email. But what you'll notice here is uh, if you don't have an Apple account already set up with an email, and this is someone who may not be part of the Apple ecosystem, you will need to create an account so that you can communicate with this. Again, you don't have to be an iOS user or an iPhone user, but you do have to create an Apple account. Now, I do have one thankfully to make this process easier. So I'm gonna enter that in. That was the Apple Bit Show email we used. Okay, and I'm just gonna sign in here. Okay, and now we also have two-factor authentication. So yes, uh, you're gonna have to go through some steps, but this is secure. Let's hope I remember this, okay. It's verifying it. I'm gonna say trust this browser. Now we see here, it shows me the guest list. Remember, John Kim earlier RSVP, so he's going, I guess I'll go too, but I'm gonna write my response here, all right? And I'm gonna say, yes, John Kim did that. I don't, I don't need to comment, I'm just gonna say going, that's good. I'm gonna submit this. So that should be two guests going. You can see the description, the weather layout here. So whether you're on, in the Apple ecosystem or not, you still get access to all the information, the maps. Here you can join the album. You also see the music playlist. And I think a fun thing to note here is with this invites app, you can invite as many people as you want, but the RSVP supports up to 100 actual people. That's normal across the board from other services. So I also want to show you another thing in this app. Yes, we have our multiple uh, invites here, but up here in the top, you have this big bold word that says upcoming. If I click on that little arrow, it shows us a few other details. You have upcoming invites, past invites, drafts and then specifically calls out the ones that you're hosting and the ones that you're attending. So that's a kind of a first look of invites first starting from your phone that supports iOS 18 and an iCloud plus subscription, but then anyone can receive it. Anyone can respond to it and see the same exact details that you created, but just kind of an elegant, fun way that's plugged into the Apple ecosystem and uses image playground like we have here. If you want to create invites that way or use your own photos, but it's a free app. It's a fun app and I honestly do think I will be using this to make future parties and it's got that style and polish. You can't really beat it. So there you go, a first look of how Apple Invites works and you can check it out for yourself. It's a free download today.